الله أكبر الله أكبر Tonight is a very important timely reminder for all of us and as I proceed Allah, you will be able to realize what we are talking about. I'm going to start with the hadith which is Sahih Rawahu Al Imam Ahmad fi Musnadihi wa Ghayru wa Sahahu Al Shaykh Al Albani Rahimahullah. Ithnani Yakrahuma Ibn Adam Al Mautu Wal Mautu Khayrun Lahu Min Al Fitna Wa Yakrah Al Fakr there are two things which mankind they hate, they dislike, they don't want, they want to avoid something which no one is asking for, no one wants to, nobody is interested in, in fact, is what we may say. What are those two things? al mot death. Nobody likes to die, even the best. I will narrate another hadith which will indicate to you that even the best. al most Bani Adam is natural, we dislike to die. Why we, while we know that we are going to die one day, absolutely, no doubt about it, but we dislike to die. wal mawtu khayrun min al-fitna But he should be aware of that to die is better than fitna. Fitna has many meanings. It means trials, tribulations, hardships, difficulties, and here it goes to the maximum and that is al-kufr, al-shirk. So for a person to die while he's still a believer is better than that he disassociates himself from Iman, from faith, and belief, and dies as a disbeliever. So we should be thankful to Allah Azza wa Jalla for anyone who passes away, and we know that he was saved from the fitna. وَالْمَوْتُ خَيْرٌ مِنَ الْفِتْنَةِ And wallahi, many times when I'm informed that a certain brother died or a sister who are especially young ones yet to attain puberty though we we grieve we are saddened we feel sad we sh shed tears genuine tears but in the deepest of the heart you say alhamdulillah maybe he is among those protected ones to go to Jannah because he has not attained puberty, so he wasn't responsible for acts of worship, and it is khair for him. Well, fitna to khair, well, mau to khair on the bin al fitna. And we know the story of it, Surah Al Kahf, of course. So, this is something we need to utilize at times. So, if you hear someone died, and then you see that that person died young. Maybe mature, 30, 40, 50 years old. But you know that he was praying five times a day. He was from Ahl Sunnah. He practiced Islam. Then, though we grieve, we are saddened, we cry, we are upset. Not on Qadr Allah, not on preordainment, but we are upset that somebody has passed away. But at the same time, we are thankful to Allah that He died while he declared the Iman. And the opposite is also true. Many times, when we hear somebody who has not yet believed, he was a disbeliever and he dies like that. Somebody not only known to me or you, but I personally know many times my tears would come without any control to it. Because I've, I, I think what that person is now going to go through in hellfire in the grave where the hellfire will start, before the real hellfire of the hereafter. Even 
والموت خير له من الفتنة ويكره الفقرة and he dislikes to be poor وكلنا نكره الفقر we all dislike to be poor poor has levels one is when you become so poor that you are totally dependent on others and you cannot look after yourself or those responsible you are over then that is disliked of course we don't want it but the fucker you know everybody wants to have a big yacht in the sea everybody wants to have a private jet holidays in a different continent every time four wives and four cars and four houses maybe the last one not most of you want it but these are the facts of life what is halal i'm talking about but the thing is well fakr hu khairu lo fakr is alhamdulillah you have one house one car one family and you have enough to survive you are enjoying your life khalas this is this kind of fakr if you really want to compare it with the other one i was mentioning alhamdulillah well fakr hu khairu lo le لأنه أقل للحساب because يوم القيامة when you are going to be reckoned for each and everything which Allah has given you what you have to answer for related to wealth will be limited little amount only it doesn't mean the person who has got more wealth will have a lesser Jannah lower in quality compared to you know he may get a better place but your reckoning will be faster and swifter and quicker because you have to answer for less when it comes to karahatul maut when it comes to karahatul maut aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qala ya rasulullah you know if is a ahabba allah idha ahabba abdan liqa allah ahabba allah liqa'ahu wa idha kariha liqa allah kariha allah liqa'ahu When a person dislikes to meet Allah, Allah Azza wa Jalla loves to meet him. And when a person dislikes to meet Allah, Allah dislikes to meet him. Talking on the basis of this hadith, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, Ya Rasulullah al-Mawd, wa kullu da nakrah al-Mawd. Ya Rasulullah, that, we all hate that. So, dislike that, nakrah al-Mawd. So this is Aisha, Umm al-Mu'mineen. She knows absolutely that she is going to where? Say it loudly. Jannah, paradise. She is a wife of Rasulullah. She knows hadmi and absolutely she is going to go to Jannah. And she says, Kullan al-Nakrah al Which means that for a moment to dislike death is not lack of Iman, does not reflect to the quality of his Iman or hers at all. كلنا نكره الموت. We all dislike it. Because she thought that you go, you are going to go and meet Allah after you die. That's true. In the in the details which has been mentioned, how and what and whatever. But she thought that here it means that a person dislikes to go and meet Allah, meaning dislikes to die and go and meet Allah. So Rasulullah said, no, it's not related to death. But the hadith, the, then he explained, he said, at the time when a person is dying, when the death comes on him or her, he is going to go through the scene, how much in details maybe differs from one to another, and how fast and quick and what. But we all are going to go through that. So at that point, if a person is shown the Jannah, paradise, that this is your abode, this is where you are going to, this Jannah, this Subhan al-Khalq al-Azim. Do you think he will want to come back to this world? Wallahi, impossible. He already is saying his Jannah, he knows where he's going to go to, khalas. So, fa'ahabba, then he loves liqa Allah to meet Allah, meaning he loves to die and go and then meet Allah when the time comes. Fa'ahabba Allahu liqa Allah, Allah loves to meet him. Now, I'm pretty sure the other part of the hadith you understand. The unfortunate one of his own doing, of course, when he will be shown the hellfire and where he will be punished and whatever, he will dislike to die. 
dislike to go and meet Allah. He knows the reason because of that. So, not every time when a person dies is bad for him or her. Yakrahul mot wal motu khayrun min al fitna. The fitna itself has got many things. In one of the ayat in Surah Al Baqarah, wal fitna tu ashadu min al qatul. The fitna, the trials and tribulations which a person may go through or you may create to others, it is more difficult at times than the qatal, that killing itself. When the time of death comes, as Allah has made it, has made it very clear, Kullu nafsin each and every one of you are going to taste the death. <coughs> and at that point, the unfortunate ones. Hatta idha jaa ahdahum al mawtu qala Rabbi irji'uni la'al ya'malu su'alihan fi ma tarak They will say, Ya Allah, return me back to this world. Give me respite, give me time. Give me a little bit of time. Last warning. You know, all these things come in my mind and yours. If we are from the unfortunate ones, inshallah, we are not. Inshallah. So those unfortunate ones, when they will say this, because they know they are going to die, and this is the end of them. The reply will be, they will say, well, why do I want to go back? I still have to buy a house. I'm not married yet. Ya Allah, I'm still young, as you can see. I have to have my children. I'm not living behind anyone. Ya Allah, I was studying and the certificate was graduation was tomorrow. Ya Allah, let me please finish my graduation. Ya Allah, my mother is sick. I have to take her to the hospital. Ya Allah, my children are loved. I worked for them. I did everything for them. Night and day I was working so that I could give them comfort. The last of the, those children are about to get married. Ya Allah, give me one year. One year. Ya Allah, I came to Hajj. Uh, give me time so I can go to Hajj and come back. I was intending to do this year. None of these are going to work out for them. So he's not going to, you know, whatever you say. But the thing is, I want to be a good person. Abduka, Ya Rabbi, send me back to this dunya. What is the answer? Kalla. No. Impossible. إِنَّهَا كَلِمَةٌ هُوَ قَائِلُهَا وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَقٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ You are, he is only uttering it when his soul did that. The moment he is given the respite and another chance to revive, he will go back to the same. For those people, non-stop punishment. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah that Allah has saved us from it. We are, inshallah, saved at least on books. We know that we are safe. On books, we are believers. On books, we believe in the pillars of faith and the pillars of Islam. On books, we believe in all this which Allah has revealed. On books, we believe exactly the way Allah wants us to believe. So on books, we are from Ahl Jannah. Now, it is your acti activities, your actions, which is going to give you that qualification. So it's like, on books, you are registered as a student. You are going to the university and attending all the classes. So on books, you are a student and you attended the classes. Now, will you get the certificate that you have finished? That will depend on your finale, that's the final exams and so forth. Unfortunately, system has changed and different systems apply, but still in most of the places you still have to do exams. You still have to do exams. Especially if it is in the medical field, they are so strict because you are going to save a person's life for another two, three years. So they have to study so much and then you have to have the certificate, you have to have the license, then any prescriptions coming from the, from the pharmacy, there is a certain section, only if the GP writes for you, the doctor, only then they are going to give you the medicine, this medicine, this, that medicine, that. Certificates, qualifications, 
but when it comes to you have to save some from, someone from the hellfire, everybody is qualified to give fatwa, everybody is qualified to stand up and talk. No education needed, and we know that is not right. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Coming back again, so this person will say, Ejjuuni. The reply is simple and said, no. So, we all know that we are going to face the death. Those from our beloved ones who were with us in the day. Alhamdulillah, we pray for them. We make dua for them that they died at least to us in, Ahl in, 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 the, in, in the status of Iman. What is the details known best to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And we pray for everyone who died as a believer, of course. Barakallah fikum, as you know, that Ula nablu wa nabdu bi shayin min al-khawfi wal ju'i wa naqshin min al-amwali wal anfusi wa thamarati wa bashiri shabirin Al-lazina idha ashabatum musiba qalu Qalu Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raja'un Allah is going to test us in trials and tribulations It could be in your wealth, it could be your health, it could be your, your life or someone else's Your life, when, uh, it's the health If you are gone, then gone, then it is a test for the next one All these tests So that you are always on the two. Because when Allah gives you too much, isn't it? You have full control of all around you. You are all the wishes comes as a whim to you. Anything you want to eat can be given to you. Any kind of any kind of health you talk about, you have it. You are extremely healthy, extremely wealthy, extremely powerful, extremely influential when it becomes to extremely in these things then it is extremely dangerous for you even the prophets Allah tested them in their health in their wealth in their families they were the ones who went through the biggest of the test though the test for them was for different reasons for us one of the reasons is so that we are on a Surat al Mustaqim. Now, because when too much of this in extremely is given to you, you forget Allah extremely also. So let us be humble and let us be simple and let us continue with the good work which we have been doing and do better than what we have been doing. We always we should have room for improvement always and try to do always more better than what you have been doing. Just have to love